Well, hey there, and welcome to this lesson of the church video series. We're entering into a new section of the church video series called Advanced Shooting. And in the introductory shooting section, I shared some training videos on some basic techniques like shooting handheld, as well as basics of composition and framing. But in this section, we're going to be doing some more advanced training, talking about sliders and tripods and cranes and other cool devices. Lots of fun, fun stuff. And these new training videos are going to talk about advanced shooting where you can get some movement in your shots and really step up your game to the next level so that's gonna be really fun and today we're starting with the tripod and the monopod starting with the tripod the tripod is of course the three-legged structure that you use for supporting your camera. I'm using one right now to record this video and tripods are really great for holding your camera in a single stationary position. But you can also use your tripod to add some movement to your shots using the pan and tilt functions. The pan function is when you're moving your camera from right to left and the tilt function is moving up and down. Now to do this well, you're gonna need a good tripod head and there are plenty of lists and good debates out there about what the best tripod head for your camera is. But the one thing that you need to know is that you're gonna need what's called a fluid tripod head. A fluid tripod head has fluid inside of it that ensures that all your movements are perfectly and evenly paced. And without this, it's gonna be up to you to ensure that all your movements are perfect and even, which is quite impossible. And that's why you need a fluid head to get great pan and tilt motions. So go out there and get yourself a fluid tripod head that's quality and affordable. The one that I use is the Manfrotto 701H DV. It's pretty affordable and it's perfectly functional and works well for everything that I've asked it to do so far. Using a tripod is fairly simple. Of course, the first thing you're gonna do is extend the three legs so that you can balance your camera properly. And the cool thing is that most tripods come with a little balance bubble level so that you can get your camera perfectly balanced and perfectly level using that bubble. And once the tripod is set up, you can use the arm to get nice pan and tilt motions. The tripod is good for stationary interviews, adding basic movement to shots using the tilt and pan function, extreme stabilization, and shooting church services. But the tripod is bad for on-the-run portable shooting. Now let's discuss the monopod. Moving on to the monopod, the monopod is the same as a tripod, except instead of three legs, it only has one. A monopod is a great alternative to shooting handheld. In fact, it's the next step up in terms of stabilization because what's great about a monopod is that they're extremely portable. Unlike a tripod that can get very heavy and kind of clumsy, it's annoying to carry around, a monopod is extremely portable so you can take it with you wherever you go. And the most important part, it sets up in about two to five seconds. You just you know, undo one of the legs, extend it, and boom, you're ready to go. Unlike a tripod where you have to do all three legs, then you have to balance it, get it perfect. A monopod is boom, 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 and you're ready to go. Now, I've learned everything I know about monopods and using them to shoot video from a company called Still Motion. So instead of regurgitating their material, I've included a link to one of their tutorials in the notes for this lesson. So check that out. The tutorial is so, so good. Monopods are good for stable shots that can be set up in seconds, close-ups with minor movements, and getting multiple angles very, very quickly. Monopods are bad for shooting church services and shooting stationary interviews. So there you have it, the tripod and the monopod, a couple tips for each one, using them to get some nice movement in your shots. And in the next lesson, we're gonna be talking about using the shoulder rig and the steady cam. some very, very fun and exciting things. So I'll see you in that lesson. If you're not already a subscriber to Pro Church Tools, go and do that. You'll gain access to the Pro Church Toolkit that is exclusive to subscribers. And hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.